So let's start with the pants. I got the pen tool going. I'm going to set the fill and stroke to default for now. And I'm going to start creating the pants. So I'm going to go a little bit lower. Uh, Crokey's rise is pretty high, so you got to kind of gauge what your rise should be at. And I'm going to start on my jeans. I'm creating jeans. I'm going to start right about here. And I'm going to go up slightly and beyond her uh, line of the hip. Just not too much, just a little. And I'm going to curve this. Okay. Get rid of the handlebar. Now I'm going to create the hip area and to the knee. So let's go to about, let's start about right here. Okay. And to the knee, which is, I would say, about a little bit above this line right here. And you can click and hold and drag slightly or whatever you feel the shape should be. And now for the hem. I'm going to keep the handlebar there and I'm going to go straight down. Okay, so figure out your width of the leg opening. And let's click. I'm going to create a little bit of curve there. And let go. Get rid of the handlebar. Go up to the same level as the knee. Click and hold. Click and let go, I'm sorry. Uh, then we're going to create the, well, the path to the crotch. And so I'm going to click, hold, and drag. Come up with a shape that I'm happy with. I'm going to go with that. Now, as usual, uh, this is a point before you reflect it to figure out if the shape is what you want. Uh, so with the direct select tool, you can go ahead and adjust uh, your lines, your anchors. Okay, so let's see what we have. Let's go about right there. Not too extreme. It's like a slim straight leg. All right, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to my selection tool, shortcut is V, letter V, select this, I'm going to go to reflect, click, and I'm going to come over here and click on the center front, I should have said it before I clicked it, holding my option or alt key, and you can see it's reflected and it's pretty much centered, click, click copy, and there we have it. Now we need to average. So we click to, uh, we go get the uh, direct select tool and we select the centers like so, just like we do in the blouse or any other top or a garment. Right click, average, vertical, OK. And the last step to this is to go ahead and go to Pathfinder and Unite. All right, so happy with the shape. I think it looks pretty decent, pretty good. And now I have to uh, create the waistband. But before I do that, let me just select this and add yellow. I think it's easier for you guys to see it, especially on the resolution that comes out on YouTube. Uh, direct select tool, shortcut to letter A. I'm going to select the waistband, copy and paste. And here's what we have. Let me zoom in on this area so we can see it a little bit closer up. All right, fantastic. Uh, selection tool. Uh, so here's the waistband or the bottom part, and I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to select, hold uh, Option, click, shift, drag upward. Uh, think about the width of the waistband you want because it's going to be your width right here. Uh, go a little bit higher. I like to have thick waistbands. And now with the pen tool, we're going to close this and make it a complete path. So hover over one of the corners then simply go up to the other corner and it closes. Repeat it on the other side and there we go. I know some people create rectangles and they warp them and they replace them in. I'm, I'm partial to this. I, I like doing it this way. Okay, and there's our waistband. It's a little curvy maybe. I think maybe I curved it a little too much but it's okay. Zooming in on the corner of the waistband. Now, this is what I do. I take the the select, direct select tool, I select this uh, corner, anchor point, 
I select it, then drag holding shift to the right until my blue line hits the edge of that black line. It gives it just enough to make it look right uh, so it doesn't look so all squared up when you're uh, looking at the whole garment total. Let's do it again on this side. Click, shift, drag. Okay, and while doing that, you're pretty accurate. The width of that black line, the stroke, is the same on both sides. All right, now we need to create the back of the waistband. Okay, take the pen tool, click on this corner here, go up to the center. Here's our center front, so we're going to click, hold shift, and drag to the right. Okay. And I'm gonna to come to this corner here, click, and the shape is pretty good. So we need to close this. So I'm gonna come down, cut straight across, and uh, straight across I'm not gonna cut it. Let's go angle down, then angle up, and just close it. You just don't wanna see what's behind there. All right, now select the waistband and the body. Right click, arrange, bring to front, and that's what you get. Now select the back waistband. Okay, then you're gonna hold Alt or Option on the PC. I'm sorry, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. Click, drag down. You wanna mimic the width of the front waistband. There you go. Now select the inside and throw in that gradient, the basic black to white. And that's what you get. Uh, we start to see these little bunny ears. I call them bunny ears. I don't know what people call them, but this is what I call them. Go to stroke, cap, round, corner, round. And now it just blends perfectly. Okay. Now we start throwing in the details. Uh, let's see. Let's take our pen tool and let's start with stitching. I'm going to uh, start right here. And we're going to mimic the shape again. I'm holding the Alt key. I'm sorry, the sh uh, the Shift key. And I'm going to come to this side here. And we simply make it 0.25. Now, this is what I like. I like to see it around this size. And for me, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to get rid of the fill, obviously. So no fill. There we go. And again, down here. The bottom of the waistband okay let's get rid of the cigarette here okay there we go now for the center front we we'll go ahead and put in the, uh, the center front seam let's change that to 0.1 and uh, no stitch of course it's gonna be solid and I bring it up a little bit, curve slightly. I, I went a little too high. Let's go about right to here. All right, then we go in here and create that shape right there. It just adds a little life to it. That's all it does. I mean, you can go straight up, that's fine, or angle it slightly and go straight up, that's fine, but. You know, it's all up to you what you think, you know, your design style, put it that way. And let's go ahead and put stitching. Uh, 0.25 dashed lines, and I'm going to start with the bottom stitch, holding shift, click, I get that perfectly straight line. Okay, now we're going to start, put a line in here. So this one is not going to go all the way to the other side because on the right side, it's going to follow that opening, the center front opening. I'll do that in a second. Okay, and start on this side now. We'll come to about right here, and to here. Follow that shape a little bit. I try to keep the distance between your stitch and the seams fairly even because it just adds to the realism of your sketch. Now let's put in the fly. Uh, <coughs> oh man. <clears throat> so start right there. I'm gonna come down to about right here. 
holding shift of course and a little bit lower hold shift and drag and I'll get this shape right here I'm I like that it looks pretty decent pretty good do this repeat this is gonna have a double stitch okay there we go now I'm switching over to the uh, direct select tool I'm gonna bring this one up slightly again I'm trying to keep that the shape as even as possible it's all right I'm not crazy about that and now let's put the stay stitch for a zipper comes across like so and it usually comes in a little bit and to there voila now let's create pockets uh, on this style I'm just gonna go ahead and create a slash pocket uh, you can do a scoop any type of pocket you want uh, this one I'm gonna create a slash type pocket so Okay, now let's change that to a, a solid line. There we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add the stitching also. It's gonna have that double stitch. And this eye drop, get this stitch from here. There we go. And double stitch. Let's bring that one in here to here. Alright, so it's a little bit off so just use your pen your direct select tool and you can create now this is going to have a coin pocket that just runs all the way through and let's change that to one dash no dashes there and add a little stitch stitch line from here to here again eyedropper you pick the stitch right here right up from here there we go now let's duplicate that all right, I'm going to add a stay stitch. Stay stitch is what holds your pocket bag in place. And I'm going to bring it down to about right here. And let's bring these to the front. Let's have that stay stitch behind those guys there. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to take all of these, with the exception of the coin pocket, and I'm going to group them and send them to the other side. So all we have to do is reflect, copy, okay, and then just drag it over. I'm going to hold shift as I drag over. All right, looking good. Now let's go ahead and uh, create the uh, belt loops. And I think that's a good size right here. Uh, we don't want to rotate it, we just want to drag it in. And eye drop, I just want to make sure it has that fill in there because I don't want to see the waistband behind it. And here we go. Now, I'm going to rotate, before I rotate, it, I'm going to go ahead and put the stitching in, then we'll rotate it. Put a stitch in here. Okay, eye drop, let's get that stitch visible. And let's go back to the pen tool letter P for is a shortcut okay uh, let's take the selection tool and bring this side in to match the other side there we go now let's take a pen tool again I'm gonna create just a straight line I'm gonna do it on right below it just to see my width properly and no dash uh, go to effect go to zigzag and let me increase the size reduce ridges per segment I want to see those zigzags in there okay now place it on top place it on top on this side also and I'm going to select everything and group it now I'm going to rotate slightly just to match the the direction of that waistband and now reflect it copy and just position one on the other side. 